Μια πολύ όμορφη διοργάνωση λοιπόν σήμερα εδώ στο χώρο της Εκκλησίας της Παναγίας Έχω μαζί μου τον Μίστερ Πόλικ Πολυκάρπου Ο οποίος είναι ο διευθυντής του ελληνικού σχολείου εδώ Μάλιστα. Κύριε Πολυκάρπου, καταρχήν να μας πείτε λίγα λόγια των σχολείων Μάλιστα. Πότε λειτουργεί και εφόσον είστε και ο νέος διευθυντής Μάλιστα, Βασίλη μου πρώτα πολλά χρόνια πολλά, της το Ζανέστη και σε ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ που δέχτηκε με το Hellenic TV να είστε παρόν αυτή, σε αυτή την ωραία εκδήλωση που διοργανώσαμε σήμερα. Ο διαγωνισμό Φαλαούνα και Τσουρικιού, έτσι. Ναι, ναι. Ε, το ελληνικό σχολείο λοιπόν του Αποστόλου Βαρνάβα είναι ένα τεράστιο σχολείο και από, τεράστιο, θέλω να πω, τεράστιο από την πλευρά όνομα και ιστορία. Ναι. Είναι από τα πιο παλιά και πιο μεγάλα ελληνικά σχολεία τη παροικία. Ε, φτάνουμε σχεδόν 60 χρόνια ιστορία. Ναι. Και όπω λέει και ένα τραγούδι, με όνομα βαρύ σαν ιστορία. Ναι. Έτσι, εδώ ξεκίνησε παλιά η ομογένεια στο Λονδίνο ε, και μετά προχώρησε προ τα έξω. Έτσι έχουμε βαθιέ ρίζε. Ε, δίπλα από την Εκκλησία της Παναγίας και από το Ναό του Αποστολού Βαρνάβα. Το σχολείο μας τώρα μικρανέ, όμως ακόμα είναι δυνατό και μεγαλώνει εβδομάδα με εβδομάδα. Εμείς εδώ λειτουργούμε, έχουμε δύο σχολεία και λειτουργούμε κάθε Σάββατο το πρωί και το απόγευμα. Uh -huh. Έχουμε περίπου 250 μαθητές και περίπου 30 εκπαιδευτικούς. Μάλιστα. Ε, πέστε μα λίγο αυτή τη σημερινή διοργάνωση. Είναι, δεν είναι αποκλειστικά διαγωνισμό πλαούνα του EQ. Υπάρχουν και άλλα Μάλιστα. θέματα εδώ. Πέστε μα λίγα λόγια. Απλώ σήμερα είναι μια ευκαιρία να μαζευτούμε, γιατί είμαστε και κοινότητα, ε, να μαζευτούν μαζί με τα παιδιά του σχολείου και οι δικοί μα άνθρωποι και τη εκκλησία εδώ να γιορτάσουμε, αφού έχει περάσει το Πάσχα, mm -hmm. ε, να γιορτάσουμε και τη φλαούνα. Όμω μια ευκαιρία να μαζευτούμε, να τα πούμε μεταξύ μα ναι, ναι, ναι. έτσι όμορφα. Επίση, σήμερα το έχει διοργανώσει η σχολική εφορία ε, και για διαφήμιση του σχολείου και για να γίνει κάποια αύξηση του ταμείου του σχολείου. Uh -huh. Έτσι, γιατί έχουμε και κάποια, κάποιε οικονομικέ ανάγκε yeah, yeah. που πρέπει να, τα, να πολύνουμε τα, τα χρήματα που έχουμε. Uh -huh. Γιατί μόνο τα δίδακτρα έχουμε yeah, yeah. και με τέτοιου τρόπου ε, ενισχύουμε το ταμείο και προχωρά το σχολείο. Yeah. Ο Πόλι Πολυγκάρ που τώρα ασχολείται μόνο με το σχολείο ή έχει και άλλε δουλειέ. <laughs> Ο Πόλης Πουλικάρπου, όπως έχουμε εμείς οι δύο μια παλιά ιστορία, ε, παιδί της παρικιάς και εγώ ήμουν μαθητής σε αυτό το σχολείο, ναι, ναι. πριν 40 χρόνια, να μην πούμε ακριβώς την ηλικία μας Βασίλη. Όμως πριν... 41. Κα, κάπου εκεί. Ε, πριν 40 κάτι χρόνια ήμουν και εγώ μαθητής εδώ. Να φανταστείτε ότι η κυρία Μάχη που έχει σήμερα την πρώτη τάξη της Δημοτικής ήταν και η δικιά μου δασκάλα. Ναι, ναι, ναι. Και είναι ακόμη εδώ και υπηρετά το σχολείο. Και την ευχαριστούμε γι' αυτό και είναι και η υποδιευθύντρια του σχολείου. Ναι. Εγώ τελείωσα, εντάξει, γεννήθηκα εδώ. Το λιγό μου σχολείο ήταν εδώ. Ερχόμουν εγώ κάθε Σάββατο απόγευμα ε, μέχρι και το Έλεβο. Μετά ήρθε σε εσά το LGR. Ναι, ναι. Ε, ναι. Από, από εκεί ξεκίνησα μια καριέρα ε, μηχανολόγο και μετά στην χρηματοδότηση και σαν τραπεζίτη. Και λίγο πριν την πανδημία, στα 42 μου περίπου, αποφάσισα να αφιπηρετήσω και να σκεφτώ ακριβώ τι ήθελα να κάνω. Και αυτό που ήθελα να κάνω ήταν να δώσω πίσω στην παρικία. Όχι μόνο στην ελληνική παρικία, όμω γενικά στην παρικία που μεγάλωσα. Και αποφάσισα ότι ο πιο σωστό τρόπο να το κάνω αυτό ήταν μέσω τη εκπαίδευση. Ναι, ναι, ναι. Έτσι, επειδή είχαμε και την πανδημία και τον κορονοϊό και είμαστε όλοι στο σπίτι, ε, ε, ξεκίνησα και εγώ πανεπιστήμιο για να γίνω εκπαιδευτικό καθηγητή. Ναι, ναι. Και έγινα μαθηματικό και καθημερινέ εργάζομαι σε σχολεία τη παροικία και διδάσκω μαθηματικά και business. Και αφού έγινα και τραστή, δηλαδή και δαιμόνα στην παροικία του Αποστολού Βαρνάβα, έτυχε και μια περίπτωση που άνοιξε η θέση εδώ σαν για διευθυντή και την αγκάλιασα αυτά, αυτή την πρόσκληση και δέχτηκα να αναλάβω εδώ προ τα πόρτα τη διευθύνση του σχολείου. Μπράβο, εγώ είμαι πολύ περήφανο που σε γνωρίζω πολύ καλά από παιδί Άλιστα. και λόγω του ότι ήσουν ένας και στο HR και... Είχα πέντε χρόνο ήρθα, Βασίλη Μέγκη. Ναι, Είχα θυμάμαι, πάνω. ναι. Είχα... Και... Είχα... Ακριβώς. Ένα καλό μωρό. Ακριβώς, <laughs> ακριβώς. <laughs> και ήσουν επιτυχημένος και εκεί και παντού <laughs> και σου εύχομαι κάθε επιτυχία και ό,τι ήθελε έτσι ο Πόλης Πολυκάρπου να το πετύχει στη ζωή του. Να είστε καλά Βασίλη μου. Και πάλι σας ευχαριστώ. Ευχαριστούμε και το Hellenic TV. Σε ευχαριστώ και εσένα γιατί σήμερα θα είσαι κριτής. Ναι, ναι. Έχουμε τον διαγωνισμό της Φραούνας. Ελπίζω να σου αρέσουν οι Φραούνες και τα Τσουρέκια. Ναι. Εμένα πάνω σίγουρο να σου πω την αλήθεια. Ναι. Δεν έχω φάει Φραούνες φέτος Α. γιατί θα ερχόμουν εδώ σήμερα Μάλιστα. έτσι για να φάω αρκετές. Και εγώ πάντως σήμερα ούτε πρωινό δεν πήρα <laughs> και προετοιμάστηκα <laughs> για να φάμε καλά. <laughs> Το, λοιπόν ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Και εγώ ευχαριστώ. Να είστε καλά. Ευχαριστώ πολύ. Να είστε καλά. Ωραία, 
έχουμε και τον κύριο Φαζουλιώτη εδώ, ο οποίο είναι ένα από του διοργανωτέ και κανονικά είστε από την εφορία, έτσι. Well, η γονή μου από την Τεμεσόν, η μάνα μου από την Διαρόναν και γενικά από τα Μέσα Λονδίνο. So you born here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. I realize that you uh, you want me to turn to English. Yes. Ότι θέλετε. Ναι. Λοιπόν, ε, ποια είναι λοιπόν η, η σχέση σας με το σχολείο. Τι ακριβώς κάνετε. Εγώ, εγώ τις δύο αριθμούς που μιλείτε. I'm one of the governors so σχολείο, so the English σχολείο, and we with Maria here we're organizing events. So we do different events every all year round. Uh -huh. And this Flown and Suleki competition will be is our first one and it's going to be every year moving yeah, forward. Your first Tsureki competition, but you do other events as well, yeah? yes? we yeah. do other events. We um, had a tablet competition uh, two months ago. I won. Okay. Get you won. I guess I'll You won. can organize competitions and won them. Yeah, well, my mo <laughs> one of my stars is I only play with masters. Um, well, come in a uh, tablet competition. Uh, come in Yada Abu Kries. Bravo. We had a small event to raise money and yeah, slowly, slowly to start building up money for the school and then also promote the school yeah. to bring more kids to Banaya and build that sense of Greek community once again because Banaya used to be the heart yeah, yeah, of yeah, the Greek yeah, school, yeah. St. Barnabas. Uh -huh. What's the next one? There was the next event. We're looking to do quiz nights. Quiz night, we're looking to do like a summer school. Summer I'm, coming, I'm coming to you in yeah. Indy, Maria. Yeah. Yeah. So we're doing quiz night, summer sports, the summer fair, and then whatever we think of in between. Okay then. Let me just speak to Maria as well. Thank you very much for no talking problem. to us. Okay? No problem. And uh, I wish you all the best anyway. Thank you and good luck with the competition. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy. So Maria. Hello. You are... Uh, I'm uh, one of the governors as well. Governors as well. So I joined this year. My daughter started reception. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get involved with the school, yeah. help with the fundraising. Obviously, I came to the Greek school many years ago. Um, so there's a so close you are a student here? I was a student here. So there's a close connection. Got married here. My kids were christened here. So for me, this is the heart of the community. So obviously, want to put as much as possible back into the school. Um, and also the events that we're doing, not to just limit them to the parents, reach the community. So I think this is why we've done the Flowen and Surekin competition, so bakeries can get involved and everything. It's the first year, we're learning. Um, I think what we're going to do is put a roadmap and get our events out there a little bit sooner. So I think we want to do like a sports day, we want to do a barbecue, a summer fair, combine it into one. Um, but yeah, hopefully we're just gradually growing, get more kids involved um, and continue the good work that the community has done before us. Okay, tell me about the competition, Flauna and Shureki competition. So the Flauna and Shureki competition is basically, I think what we wanted to do is kind of associate something with Easter. Um, all the mothers, the yayades make Flauna and Shureki. Um, and I don't think there's been one for a little while. Um, so it was like, how do we get it involved? It was, I think now is the perfect time because it's just after Easter. So the Vlaunas, the Tureki are, are nice and fresh. Um, and then we also reached out to the bakeries. There was interest there. So we've got the, some of the bakeries involved as well. Um, and it's just really to get our traditions out there. Because uh, obviously Vlaunas are for Cypriot, uh, for the uh, Cypriot. Uh, Tureki are for like more for a lover. And just bring the two, I guess, nations together. What do the winner get? So the winner of the, the, so the individual home winners will get a 50 pound voucher uh -huh. and the bakery will get a case of wine and a certificate. A case of wine? A case of wine. That's good. Yes. And, and who are the judges then? The judges are Nadine. Nadine, yes. Yourself. Myself. And there's a lady, Eleanor, who was a semi-finalist on MasterChef. Okay. Then. Yes. And what do, do, what do they have to judge? I mean, how... Oh, that's a good question. Oh, so yeah. I think it's probably more to the experts. Probably, I guess, the flavour, uh -huh. uh, probably the texture. Yeah. As I was saying, Gibriaga, Anine Afradi, Afradi, and I guess kind of. I think it's the real. It's the flavours. So it's not so much the outside. I think it's the flavours that we're looking for. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, that's fine. So um, how long do we have before we start the? I think what's the time? Is the clock ticking away? Um, 
Well, whenever everyone's ready. It's 1.30 now, so whenever yeah, everyone's, everyone's ready. ready. Okay, so, yeah. Thank, yeah. You thank, you thank, thank you very much for talking to us. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank I will, you. I will and, see you next year. Uh, <laughs> yes. No, no, it's, you see me before that. Uh, definitely. definitely. Because, yes. you, because you do other events as We well, are doing yeah. other events, so we'll definitely yes. reach out to you. Yeah, okay, and appreciate lovely. your support. Thank, thank you, you both. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. And thank enjoy you. the flowers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Λοιπόν, uh, Nadine's Kitchen. Nadine's Kitchen Lab. Yeah, okay. And uh, what's happened to the young girl? I remember when you went, you were three years old? Yes, yes, I grew up, unfortunately. And how, and how I mean, how you get involved in uh, the cooking, in, uh, you know? So whoever knew my dad, Simon, he loved food. It was his ultimate everything. Um, and he always got us involved in the kitchen, my mum as well, uh -huh. uh, always making a yobites, always making a flaones and tureka and you know, I've done so much, I've been, I've literally gone through so many um, employments uh -huh. and I never found anything more better than, than the, cooking, uh, being in the kitchen, chef. yes. Okay, and how long have you doing, been doing this? So, um, I'm a bagelmatica, so bagelmatica. professionally, yeah. one year. One year. Um, yeah. But business has gone from literally flu yeah. like yeah. anything. And now you have your own, let's say, you have your own company. Ναι, ναι, ναι. Το, την εταιρεία των Kitchen Lab. Είμαστε μια πολύ um, δεμένη ομάδα. All our products are sourced from small local businesses around the UK, um, which means that you get that good quality food, okay. you know. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, how can you find you? So you can find me on Instagram, on Nadine's Kitchen underscore lab, or my website is www.nadineskitchenlab.com. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we have um, Elena here. Elena, you got your second name? Himonidis. Himonidis. And uh, you are um, half Cypriot? Yeah, so my dad's side is from Cyprus. Um, I am Bapua from uh, Dugamo and Bila. Um, they came to London. My family's been here since I was born. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what do you do? So I, uh, I started last year Ganella. It's a Cypriot catering company. We do events, catering, sell to deli shops. You know, you can order it um, around like, for London delivery and that sort of stuff. Started last year. It's been going really, really well. Um, based in, I'm based in South London, but do events all, all over London. But you do something else. You are involved in uh, another job. Yeah, so uh, Ganella is on the side. Not my normal job, it's in the city. So I work for the Stock Exchange, okay. London Stock Exchange, yeah. All right. Uh, tell me a little bit about your um, you know, uh, participation in uh, MasterChef, is it? Yeah, so I was, in, um, I was on MasterChef in 2018. Um, basically, I got, got through a few of the rounds and stuff like that. It was a great experience. They, they teach you a lot, you learn a lot. Um, quite intense, actually. But um, no, great experience. It was actually quite funny on the show. I, I didn't meet, make very many, you know, Greek Cypriot dishes, but they they were really interested in finding out more about them and wanted to know. So maybe I should have. <laughs> that was a reason uh, to get involved in, uh, you know, cooking afterwards. I think I've always been interested in cooking. Uh, that was the first time I sort of took my interest seriously. Um, I think since then, the reason why I've got into it more is because, uh, you know, my Ayashi used to do all of the cooking, she got ill, she couldn't, she couldn't do it anymore, she couldn't make the food that she liked, so I started making it for her, so that she could, she could still have it, and I think from then it kind of just grew my interest in, that's why I've now done the Cypriot catering business, um, to try and hopefully introduce more people to, to Cypriot food, especially in South London, there's not very many options, so um, for me it's more about kind of staying close to the culture um, and providing those options where they, they, they don't currently exist. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I wish you all the best with the competition. Thank you, looking forward to trying everything. Thank you. Thanks.
just have a, a nice piece of this because ah they have stafitka. No. Yeah, stafitka, man, amo. This one's good. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's eh? mm. mm. It's fluffy. Ah, beautiful. Oh, come to allo. Yeah. So now we're going to number ten. Number. Yay! Oh, yeah. mm. What do you think, Kiria Vasili? Kati Lipi, Lipun da Stafika. Where is she, Mesa? Is she? Oh, yeah. Nice, the feelings. Huh? Maresi Puhi Dios me, Mesa. Oh, yeah, you're a man. 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 You're a είναι πλούδιβο. Ωραία. Ναι, φέρτε μου μία ξένα να πάρω σπίτι να κουμπούκα. Ωραία, ωραία. Πώς είναι αυτό, φλόουνας. Στο με την έξι η ζύμη είναι πολύ ωραία. Εγώ νιώθω λίγο παραπάνω τυρί. Θα μου αρέσει. Ah. The, the pastry is nice and thin. Mm. Yeah. It's like really, it's quite delicate. I like it. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? And it's got a strong, it's, it's stronger it's cheesy it's flavor. Yeah, it's got a strong cheesy flavor. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's number 12. Let's try number 12. Mm, similar. Mm -hmm. Similar to this one. No, and 13. These are the same. Yeah. Vrazun uh, Agoma. Okay. We make a decision for the Chureka. There is two categories. One is from individuals, yeah. and the other one is from shops, okay? So, the individuals, the winner is, what? What's the number here? Number 16. Number 16. Number 16. Number 16. Number 16 is the winner of the individuals, Chureka. Okay. Congratulations. It tastes nice. The chocolate inside, yeah, yeah, the crunch, the yeah, Hershey's, yeah, yeah, yeah. the... It's, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's, uh, this is for the homemade, yeah? yeah. Homemade. Και το άλλον, το δεύτερο, είναι... What's the number? Do you mean to tell you the names of these number guys? Number one. From, from the show... Who's number one? <laughs> but then we have a runner-up. It was really difficult. Uh, listen, we're talking number one for the Tureka, boys and girls. Okay. All right. Yeah, and then runner-up, we have number... Yeah. Nine. Five. Number five. Number five. Uh, runner-up. So, okay, we're going to the Flaunas now. Flaunas, we have uh, quite a few... Uh, how many? One, people, two, people three, between these two. four, yes. Five, so six, seven, eight, eight, eight. eight. Ten. Worry, that is ten competitors. Limon. <laughs> Έχουμε ε, για την φλαούνα, έχουμε, we, we decided there is two uh, individuals. We're going to choose between two. Between two because, there, you know, we gave them, at the beginning, we give uh, both the same uh, points. Now we're going to test them again and see um, if, we, it can, if, we can, if, we, if we can find something different, you know yeah. what I mean? You have to tell me the difference, and you. Okay. It's between 8 and 14. 8 and 14. So 8 and 14. Drum roll. Play, play, play the drums. Play drum the roll. Drums. Well, I'm checking number 14 now, myself. This one's the one with the Diosmi, I remember nah. this one. Ah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, good. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Mm. Let's go to... Uh, Number eight? Eight. eight. Okay. 
Ah, esta ainda está com o Yuri, não dá para comer. Olha, tudo, tudo. Era, copos de tudo. Na rua em que eu tinha o... o calito, não é? Lipo, número 8. Hum, olha, é? Hum, olha aqui. I like this one. You like this one? Yeah. I like this one. And you? Which one? This one? Mmm. Well. The bag, the bag. You have the allergies. Decision made. So? Decision made, yeah? We're going to make it nice and easy for you, Kiria Vasilya. Yeah. I chose eight and Elena chose 14. Now it's up to you. No, I already... I break a vote. No, no, no. I already I already chose before you do. Who did you pick? Eight! Number eight! Number eight! Who's number eight? Yanulla. Congratulations, number eight is a winner. Yanulla. Yanulla, bravo, Kiria Yanulla, bravo. Everyone, round of applause. Also, who made this awesome Tsuregi? Are they here? Round of applause. Yeah, the runner-up is uh, 14. Uh -huh. Yeah, the uh, runner-up is 14. Number 14 is runner-up. Okay? Katerina. Yeah. Katerina. 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 Katerina came second. Okay? Thank you very much. The winners, they come up. So, uh, how you feel? You won? Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm uh, over the Surprise. moon. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised because it was the best. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're over the moon, and uh, we're really glad you enjoyed it. And, Give us uh, your name. Uh, Angel. Angel. Mm, good. Angelos. 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 That's right. Thank you, Angelos. Gratitia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Angelos. Yes, is. Yanulla. Yanulla. Από το Edmonton. Ναι. Πόσες ανζε Yanulla που κέρδισες; Περιφανή μπορώ να πω ευτυχισμένη και το. Πάνω απ' όλα, που είναι μια βοήθεια για το ελληνικό ναι, σχολείο ναι, ναι. εδώ. Πόσα χρόνια κάνουν τις φλαούνες. Πόσα χρόνια λέω κάνουν τις φλαούνες. Σαράντα. Σαράντα. Ναι. Μάλιστα σου φαίνεται. Είσαι μόνο μετά σαράντα και όχι. Spring chicken. Spring chicken. Yes. <laughs> okay. Τα τελευταία τρία χρόνια. Συγχαρητήρια. Συγχαρητήρια κυρία Νούλα μου. Να είσαι καλά. Και τα παιδιά, τα παιδάκια εδώ. Τα παιδάκια μου. Το όνομα σου. James. 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 Yes. Και το δικό σου. Maria, mo, is the brother sister, yeah? Eh? Cousins? Ah, cousins. Okay, cousins. So you did the chure, chureki, yeah? Yeah, chureki. Yeah. So I mean, you did it yourself. Yeah. Come on, bravo, bravo. Thank you. You know, together. Yeah. How you feel now? You won. What do you say? How you feel? You won. I'm very happy. Are you? Yeah. Good, good. And you, I, I hear that you listen to LGR as well, yeah? Yes. Okay, you're going to give me a call tomorrow morning? Yeah, I'll definitely. play a song for you, and we talk about the Tsureki. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.